Gookiebel. Gookiebel. Assalamu alaikum. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, it's a pleasure being here. Thank you. Thank you, Inna Solberg, for um, this honor. Thank you, Amir Sheikh, for inviting us here and giving us the opportunity to share a little bit about our country. Ah, it is fitting that we are here in Oslo this evening, the home of the Nobel Peace Prize. Peace is something that unfortunately my country, Pakistan, has not known since its inception. Ours was a volatile birth, and we were embroiled in one conflict or another for as long as I can remember. For us in Pakistan, peace has become a relative state of mind. Even as I address you today, we are on the brink of yet another conflict with our neighbor over Kashmir, which literally blew up last week. Why should all of this matter to me as an actress? Shouldn't I just do my films and move on? I cannot do that, because I believe we in the film industry carry a tremendous responsibility. Cinema is a very powerful tool. It has the ability to change people's minds, behaviors, and attitudes. I sincerely believe that Hollywood films and programs vilify my country as, and portraying us as backward terrorists has had a profound effect on the psyche of the West. It has greatly influenced what people think of Pakistan. Homeland, Zero Doubt 30, The Brink, to name a few, have built an image of my country that I certainly don't recognize. Would you believe that for a country branded as terrorists, we have lost over 70,000 lives and countless billions since 2001? That is more than any other country. Where is that being shown? These films combined with others that show negative images of Muslims have fueled the rise of Islamophobia. Our neighbors have one of the largest film industries in the world, and in a time where they could have used the power they yield to bring us together, what do they do? They make countless films showing Pakistanis as the villains. I have lost count of the number of films, even in the last year, where Pakistan has been shown in a bad light. I understand that given our history, our upbringing, and the politics of the region, it is very difficult to be neutral, and in being so, can be seen as being unpatriotic. However, if we want to have any semblance of peace for future generations, we as artists have to see beyond nationalism and take a stand. So what is the answer? I think that the first thing is that we as Pakistani industry have to be less insular. We have to realize that through our films, we can get a more nuanced picture of our country across to international audiences. We've been too focused on our own audiences. Maybe we should start making films about Pakistan and not only for Pakistan. Hollywood has to acknowledge the damage that they've inflicted on my country with the way they've been portraying us. I don't ask for more positive representations, but at least can these representations be more balanced? There's more to us than gun-wielding terrorists or subjugated women. Come on, that's so cliched. Let's move on from that. As for our neighbors, they really need to decide what is it that they want. Nationalistic fervor or a peaceful future? If they really want to work towards peace, like our Prime Minister Imran Khan said, if they take the first step, we are ready to take 10 more. I pray. I pray that common sense prevails and within this lifetime we are able to witness real peace in the region. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and thank you for coming and thank you for using your voice and your position. <laughs>